Okay, so today we're going to be talking about some fine radicals. This is the last day of simplifying, and then we'll get into some other things um, tomorrow. So, um, what you are going to see today is kind of just all the things that you guys have learned over the last three days. There's not really too much that's new. Um, I think you get into some higher roots, like there's a seventh root, okay? But pretty much it's all the same things that you have seen before, so not too different um, from what you're doing. So again, just a reminder, um, when you are looking at these radicals, the root tells you how many you need in each group to pull out one number, okay? So if it's a fourth root, you're looking for a group of four. So with the variables, it's pretty easy, right? Basically, um, for every four x's, you take out one x, and anything that is in a group of four will stay under there. So x to the seventh, that's like x to the fourth plus x plus three, right? It's just the two different things, or times three, I should say. Um, so I can take out one of those. So again, just to kind of show you what I'm doing, there are seven X's. Okay, so I have a group of four right there, so I can take out one X. That leaves one X underneath. Okay, so I'm gonna have one X in front, or sorry, there's gonna leave three X's underneath. And then in my square root, I'm gonna have some number there, and then I'd have X to the third. Okay, that's a fourth root. That's basically what I'm doing. So I'm going to do that with each of these individually. So I'm going to do it with the numbers. I'm going to do it with the Y's. I'm going to do it with the Z's. I'm going to just break them down into groups of four. And then every group of four, I pull out one. So again, with numbers, if it's an even number, um, you would divide by two. So you're going to divide by two until you get to an odd number, something else, or two a prime number of some kind. So 128 divided by 2 is 64, divided by 2 is 32, divided by 2 is 16, divided by 2 is 8, divided by 2 is 4, divided by 2 is 2. So here's, I'm looking for groups of 4, so here's one group of 4, so I can pull out 1, 2, okay, and I'm going to ignore that and start from scratch. So I have a 2 in front, and then I have three twos remaining, right? So I can think of that as two times two times two, which is eight. So there's gonna be eight remaining under the root. Okay, so this right here. Again, I can kind of stop at the last one that needed to be broken down. So, and then I already had said I pulled out one X. And then with the Y's, there's five, so I can pull out I can think of that as y to the fourth times y, so I can pull out one y and leave one y underneath. And then z to the eighth, there's two groups of four there, so I can pull out two z's, so z squared, and there would be nothing left underneath. So let's go back and look at what was left underneath. There was an eight, there were three x's, so x to the third, and there was one y. And that was kind of a longish problem, but again, if you approach it individually, it's not too bad. You just break it down individually. You start with the numbers, then you look at the X's and the Y's, and I did a bad job of that because I didn't do that individually. So let's try it again. Let's look at another one. So let's do this third root one. So this time I'm looking for groups of three, right? Because it's a third root. So let's start with the numbers. So I have to divide it by two, that gives me 12. Divided by two, that gives me six. Divided by two, I get three. Okay, so I'm looking for groups of three. So I got a group of three two. So I can pull out one two, and it leaves a three underneath. So I'm gonna have two, something, root three, and then I'm gonna have three underneath. Okay? And then looking for groups of three on the x's, so again, x is x times x times x times x times x times x. So that's x to the 6, right? So groups of 3, there are two groups of 3. So I can pull out two x's. So that is x times x, where x squared. Okay? 
And then y's, there's four y's, y times y times y times y. So there's one group of three. So I can pull out one y and there's one remaining. So then I'd have y and then another y underneath. And that is my answer. Okay, not too bad, right? Now this last one is a seventh root. So this time I need a group of seven before I can pull it out. So it's kind of a lot, right? So we're probably going to have a lot of numbers here. Um, I can tell you right off the fat, right off the start, that I don't have seven v's. So that v to the fifth has to stay under the root because if I don't have seven, I can't pull anything out. So that v to the fifth is going to stay under the root. But let's break this down. So this is an even number, so I'm going to divide by two. So 768 divided by two is 384. So divide that by two and you get 192. Divide that by two, and you're gonna get 96. Divide that by two, and you get 48. Divide that by two, get 24. Divide that by two, you get 12. Divide that by two, you get six. Divide that by two, and you get three. Okay. So I'm looking for a group of seven, right? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven twos right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's gonna leave me with a two and a three or basically a six left under the root. So I can pull out one, two. That's all a big group, right? <laughs> well, that's fine. It's a seventh root. It's going to break down a very big number very quickly. So that would be like the opposite of, you know, raising some of the seventh power. You'd pull this number out here. So six times all these twos would be 768. So um, what was he doing? Oh, yeah. Pull out the two, and then I've got the seventh root, and then there's a six remaining, and then again, I don't have seven Vs, so the Vs can't pull out at all. So they just stay there. V to the fifth. And that's it. That's all you're doing. Okay. Let's do another one of those seventh roots. So just to make sure we got it. Do I have seventh root on that side? I don't have a seventh root on that side. Well, crap. Honestly, it's probably fine though. Um, we will just leave it like this. So, again, pretty much the same thing we've done the last few days. If you have any questions or concerns, just let me know, um, or your teacher know, and we are here, here to help. We want to help. You just got to let us know. So, again, um, hope you guys have a good day. We'll see you out there.